How's it going YouTube? Chris here at my home theater. Got a brand new video for you today. This is the second video, but uh, told you guys that I'm probably gonna drop another video. I just wanna do a little update on the room. I did some changes and I think the changes are for the best. So let's flip this camera around and let's talk about it. So now, guys, look, no more front wides. They're gone. I went back and decided to go to a 7.6.6. And the reason why I call it 6.6 .6 is I have four 18s behind the screen and six in sigma speakers. I know I got, so it's six. So I got four 18s and two 12s. So that's what I'm doing. I got rid of the, rid of the front wides and it's definitely better that I did that. Um, I really hadn't noticed any difference in the sound, but guys, look at this. It just looks so much better, so much better. Floor's more open. I don't have those speakers in the way, even though I like the sound. Honestly, guys, there's not, there's not a whole lot of sound that comes out of the front wides. But you know, when it does, I mean, it makes a difference. But this room is really not equipped for that. Now, what I could do, and it's just, that's just too much work that I don't wanna do. I mean, I could literally go in here and and cut out and mount speakers on an angle that fit inside the wall. I, don't, I just don't wanna do that. I just don't wanna do that. So, I love this screen. Uh, there's really not much uh, wrinkles in it now. Just a few here and there. They're coming out, and I'm excited about that. I need to get this video of this screen, and it's 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 still a good screen. I love it. Uh, thin bezel. Look how thin this bezel is. Look how thin that bezel is. I see it right there. I see it right there. It is very 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 thin. Love this screen. I love it. A little aggravating with the wrinkles, but hey, hey, performs well. I really don't know what the deal is. Uh, it's probably the ins installator that installed it, me, I'm pointing at myself. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, guys, this it, silver ticket products makes good good screens. I mean, you you're not going to beat their uh, price most bang for the buck in my and that's what I. And that's what I shoot for, most bang for the buck. And that's how this screen is. The screen was like 800 some dollars. It was 135 inch thin bezel. It's very well built. It's just, oh, it's just a little aggravating the way it's put together. So, I mean, maybe they can make some improvements on it. I don't know, but it is what it is. So, I know you guys saw those sitting on the floor when I was talking about my front wides. Now those are my FXI 4s and I've been talking about taking them down and doing something different and I did. So I put those RTI A1s up and I had picked these up on another deal. Those are monitor 30s. Now they, they're not a perfect match, which, which you guys know I am about matching, but it's still, and, and, and I got the covers for these, but I can't, can't find them what I've done with them. But the drivers, honestly, are, are, are kind of close. They're arranged a little different. See, they got the tweeter and the speaker here. And this, well, and this has the tweeter and the speaker. So kind of close, but uh, I dropped my stuff. But still, um, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. These, these direct radiating speakers, what I call direct radiating, you're not dipole, bipole sound going out the side, they're just straight on, made a world of difference. And I like it, I really do, I really do like it. So I did that change the same day I did this change. So I'm running a 7.6.6 .6, and I'm happy, I really am. So today, I pulled the trigger. 
I pulled the trigger on a Panasonic UB9000. So I'm finally getting in to a reference quality 4K player. And I, got, I, found, I actually found it at a good deal. It was like, I think with tax and all, it was about $916. So I think I got a pretty good deal on that off of Amazon. So hopefully when it gets in, everything's good. And we are good to go on that. So, yep. Don't know. I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, I am on a search for another pair of these RTI ones. I, I mean, there's a pair on eBay, and I don't know what people's thinking about. They want like eight hundred some dollars for those. Nope. Uh, I found some RTI threes but I cannot find another pair of RTI ones. So guys, I mean, if y'all can point me in a direction, I'd love to have another set of them. And if anybody wants some FXI fours, I have the boxes that they came in. These speakers are like brand spanking new. They ain't a scuff, scratch, dent, nothing on them. They're perfect. I just, I want direct radiating in, in, in my setup now. And, uh, yeah, they, these are, these are, you know, they stick out further than the other ones, but it's fine. It, it really is. I wish my room was bigger, but it's not, not my next, my next theater will be bigger because I will be building a house and it's going to be about five or six years, seven years down the road before we do, but we're going to enjoy this theater right here and we're going to enjoy it. So, as you can see, I finally got my Gobi lights in, and but I don't have them running, making, <laughs> I mean, this thing's, these Gobi lights are pretty cool. So, I will be installing the deflector plate for that, so hopefully we can get just a glow off of it. Excited about that. I installed those yesterday or the day before. Must have been, I can't remember. My days run together and things that I do run together because I work so much. But anyway, I like I like how it looks. So excited about that. Uh, also, I was hoping I was getting both days off the weekend. I'm off Sunday. Not going to be enough time. Once I start, I'm going to finish star sealing. I may have to just take a couple of days vacation. And I will. Star sealing is coming quick. I'm ready to get this thing done. I'm ready to get it up there. I'm ready to get it done. So hopefully soon, and we're gonna shoot some video while we do it, cause I have my camera bought in and we're gonna have the camera set up and we're gonna be shooting some uh, footage of installing it. And I'm excited about that. And the room's gonna be just about ready for a room tour. Now, also looking at an amp. I'm ready to get rid of these Rockvilles. They have performed like a champ. I have nothing really bad to say about these amps. They were relatively cheap. They've done their job, but I'm ready to clean up my rack. <clears throat> and that'll be another video that I do. I'm going to do a uh, cable management. I mean, it is pitiful. If I <laughs> I, I will not show you guys. Well, I probably will. I'll show you guys if I, when I start to do it. it. It looks awful back there. Those cables run everywhere. So we'll definitely do something on that. I'm looking at uh, uh, I'm looking at a Tone Winner has a Lemon Channel amp out, and it's it's not not too bad. I think it's 300 watt, 300 and some watts on the front three, and then maybe 200 or so or 150. I can't remember on the nine channels so it's it's really nine ten eleven eight maybe eight channels i can't remember but it's not it's not really that bad it's like seventeen hundred some bucks uh but i really don't need eleven channel so if i get a a seven channel amp and tone winner has one of those too i think it's about thirteen fourteen hundred bucks so i'm looking at tone winner of course emotiva i mean if i can find me a uh second hand amp cheap I'll buy it, and uh, we're going we're gonna to clean this rack up. So just a lot of things coming. Got a lot of things done. Still more to do. Let's, let's, let's wrap this video up. Guys, that's my little 
update video and uh i hope you guys like what i've done uh i, I definitely like i mean i'm a, i'm gonna miss the front wides uh but did i need them no i really didn't uh <laughs> as much as i liked the rti 9 sitting on the floor it was kind of a distraction and uh, just kind of took away and it looked odd but and i get that i know people brought that out and uh you know, you really don't want to admit that things don't look exactly right, but you know, I admit it, guys. It, it it's better now the way it is. So I'm happy, and uh, we're gonna move along with a 7.6.6. We're gonna roll on with that, and uh, we're gonna get these amps in hopefully soon, and uh, we're gonna take this room to another level. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the update. And uh, we'll see you again real soon.